YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail coming through with another sneaker review, another sneaker opinion. Y'all know what I do, guys. This is basically like my sneaker diary. This sneaker channel is for people that actually like sneakers. With these right here, Sneaker Politics, thank you for that good alley-oop. I signed up for a raffle. Yes, guys, it's, I'm anti-raffle because I don't believe in them because I believe they all backdoor and do all that funny stuff. But no, I actually want to, when I go to New Orleans, I say I was going to go in the sneaker politics anyway because you know what i mean when i go to different cities and you know what i mean they got you know known sneaker stores i pre i preferably like to go there and uh these are definitely flying flames i remember when these dropped sneaker politics hooked me up with the raffle like i said guys i'm kind of anti-raffle because i don't believe in it you know I'm, I'm just pessimistic with this whole since sneakers now have become like that number one commodity or, or asset to people to try to leverage over people and resale and backdoor and all that. I'm, I just I just submitted not even caring, right? I'm just like, hey, if it don't work out, money saved, right? I was not gonna really, I wasn't gonna pay resale for this. Again though, guys, I end up winning. I end up getting an email that morning, uh, about like an hour or so after the release or 10 minutes after the release. It was quick. They sent me the checkout link, bow easy now with these as far as material go you got more so like that dry new buck material and when i say that this doesn't feel like i seriously mean that like a dura buck like it feels like paper it might be easy to clean due to the roughness of the texture not rough as far as like sandpaper rough but when you feel it you can actually feel it's more so like lightweight and it might be a decent wipe down when you do have to clean this sneaker it definitely does feel a little bit more light if this is probably an all leather sneaker it probably might be a little bit more heavier due to the materials going to the back you do have like that swoosh now these these did not drop in 2016 i remember these dropping in 09 Cause these lasted for a good two, three years on like shelves. Um, some of them went on discount, and I specifically remember these out of the, you know, out of the three colorways: the Cincinnati Reds, Fresh Waters, Emeralds, and uh, these. These seem like they moved a little bit slower, but it was enough pairs to go around for everybody. And that was the first time that sneaker was retro. This sneaker was retro, rather, and. That 2009 feel like it spilled in the 2010, a little bit of 2011, and you could see Griffey's like around. Like if you went to the store, you could see various colorways around, and they really just like overdid the colorways to me. You also got a little bit of wrinkles in the white paneling on the upper, and surprisingly, this is not leather. This swoosh right here on the toe box is just basically a new buck as well. So, um. Yeah, guys, and, and, and the funny thing about this too, we call this the Sprite colorway, and like I said in Anthony video, man, in the comments, people that call this kind of colorway the Sprite colorway, you know they've been collecting before 2015, man. Like you don't like you don't even have like you don't even hear people call stuff the Sprite colorway all like that no more. It's until this year people start really saying that again. Going to the top of the neoprene tongue. You also have a Sprite boat outline with the black going along the buckle strap. You got the Nike embossed. Almost kind of like that big graffiti like kind of like print. Going along to the side, you do have the 24 where that's like a Velcro strap. Varsity Royal Pool tab. Obviously, you guys can see on the back. This looks so fly to me with the swoosh, fly in flames. And I like the way they actually just drop the swoosh on the toe box. That's definitely worth it. I'm just talking basically from a style point. Now, I mostly cop this also from a nostalgic point as well. But style wise, these sneakers already look fly to me even back in the East Bay book. And a lot of the colorways back then that I've seen, like as a kid out on the street, was the fresh water colorways. Fresh water colorway, I didn't too much see the other ones like this. 
Like I said though, this one was a little bit more limited back in the day. Also going to the bottom, you got the polyurethane. Now this is not a, like a full length air at the bottom, but you also got that Sprite Volt Air Max unit. Definitely, I'm a sucker for that. Either the green or the Volt colorway in a unit or an infrared. Definitely my favorite Air Max bubble colorways. Orange also do too. But when this midsole actually age, if you're into keeping it white and you don't want to see it, you know, turn off white, lemon yellow, or, you know, the best thing to do to this midsole is actually to paint it. Now, the midsole definitely looks similar to the Nike Air Max Nomo. And if you're wondering if Griffey actually wore this colorway, he actually did wore the emeralds, fresh waters, and I think a kid, I seen a picture when a kid was actually at bat and he was standing at, in the background with these on. One of the things I also do like on this sneaker is that it also has a speed lacing system. The speed lacing system is for getting the sneaker on and off quick. You also got the sneaker booty for the, which is the insert right here, similar to the Jordan 9. The neoprene sock liner booty to actually keep the foot secure and stable now as far as the materials go wearing them i would say that my all wheat ones are is like buttery soft because the suede is buttery soft versus these these are a little bit a little bit on the stiff side but it's still lightweight anyway so you know i'll take that now basically cop this for nostalgic purposes and style purposes too as far as the bottom, you do got the Volt and you got the Flame Baseball. That's Fly and Flames. Got the traction pad right there. Kinda looks like a dial pad to me, like I said in the freshwater video. And the air unit is in the forefoot. And yeah, Fly and Flames. Now just a little bit of history on this sneaker. As far as the man, the kid, the legend himself, the man had definitely more of a street style when he flick his hat to the back like how mine is here anyway y'all know if y'all watch my videos I always got my hat to the back anyway but that was definitely something different at that time Ken Griffey Jr. was doing kind of breaking the norms kind of remind me of when Iverson came in with the shorts that was a little bit longer than Jordan's it's more so of a street thing when you took the made the shorts a little bit longer than usual you know what I mean the designer name that made this sneaker name is Tracy Teague Ken Griffey Jr. was definitely adamant about having a strap on the sneaker also making the sneaker loud and also having it being casual enough to wear with like jeans so as far as the fit straight out the box and comfort I will get these be 26.5 to 7 got mine in a nine and a half I know my fresh waters in case you guys watch that video I got those in a size 9 I'm gonna say, if you got a normal size foot, go true to size. These do fit a little boxy at the top, but just to be safe, just go true to size. If you got a wide foot, you might wanna go a half size up just to be safe. The only reason why I'm saying that, cause you got the neoprene booty on the inside. But um, I didn't expect these to have that much room and they actually do. That's how come the nine still fit like a glove, but these also fit pretty good too. Probably just a little bit under, maybe an 8.8. .8. The fresh waters, I, I would still take the fresh waters a little bit over these as far as my my, my color hierarchy. Um, the Probably the Cincinnati Reds first, Jade's, fresh water, Denise. So this is definitely in my Griffey lineup. I definitely like them, definitely want them. And I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't want them. So did y'all cop? Did y'all pay resale? Is it worth paying resale? Me, honestly, I wouldn't go over 200 bucks for these. Hey, I mess with you, Griffey. Griffey Air Max 1, but hey, man, I'm on a budget. You know what I mean? I know I'm going to be buying more sneakers than a regular person throughout the year. So, uh, you know, I can I can hold out. You know what I mean? If it just if the price would have got too outrageous. I don't know where the price is at now. I don't really too much care for talking about price all like that. But I have to in a way because that's the reality of the sneaker game that we in now. Or the sneaker climate you know price and all that stuff and all that you know I'm not you know by all means you can buy whatever you want to buy guys but that's why I always kind of tag the price in a lot of my other sneaker videos hey I got this new balance for 45 bucks 
you know, to let people know I didn't, you know, that some of the sneaker collecting, sneaker being in the sneakers is still affordable to a certain degree and you can still have fun too. A lot of people just think, some people just think because they paid a lot of money for a sneaker or outfit or something like that, that is already just like up there, you know what I mean? Buy what you like, buy what you like. 